Hi, I'm Dr. Brad Dibble, a cardiologist with Pace Cardiology in Barrie, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the benefits of exercise. You hear it time and time again, usually from any healthcare practitioner you see, that exercise is good, but I want to tell you about some of the specifics that it can help. First of all, exercise improves your blood pressure. You start using your body and the muscles and the blood vessels that supply those muscles, they'll start to function better, so blood pressure can be reduced. Secondly, of course, it's an important component to managing to lose weight. In combination with a healthy diet, physical activity helps burn those calories and get you to the healthy weight you should be at. Of course, it helps strengthen muscles, and with proper exercise, you can actually increase your stability and your joints and your bone strength, and so that helps to minimize the chance of fractures or falls as you get older. Interestingly, exercise has also been shown to help people quit smoking. Usually because they're adopting one healthy lifestyle, getting into a fitness program, they start thinking about other things that are beneficial too, like getting off cigarettes. Because of the benefits that happen with exercise, including keeping weight healthy, it's a great way to help fight off the development of diabetes. Probably can cut your risk by about 50%. And lastly, I, it helps reduce stress, and that's, that can't be underscored. There's so much stress in the world today. The person who's physically fit has better stress levels and actually has more energy. So here's a couple of quick things you can think about doing if you're going to start easing into a program. First of all, just try to find ways to increase movement in your day. So instead of finding that parking spot that's closest to the building you're going to, look for the one that's farthest. You'll never have competition, but those extra steps will make a difference. Also, try not to take the escalator or the elevator. If there's a stairwell, that's much better for you. If you have a lunch break and there's 10 or 15 minutes in there you've got free time, maybe go for a walk around the block and see if you can get some steps in there. And of course, these are only stepping stones to trying to get into a regular exercise program. If you have not been in great shape, it's always a good idea to talk to your doctor first before you get into a serious exercise program so that you can get some guidance about how to do it right. And I like to point out that other ways that you can help improve your likelihood of sticking with exercise, if you exercise with a friend, and if you wear some sort of fitness tracker, like a watch that keeps carries your steps in account, so you, that helps to stimulate you to try and achieve the goal you're trying to get for yourself. But exercise and movement is very important. It's the way we were designed to be. So get off those couches and get those steps going.